I want to show you a few cases of what is going on and how are we being social under social isolation. The first example is from Facebook. Uh, while we're on the topic of Facebook, you might have also noticed that Facebook has these uh, updates about the coronavirus on almost all pages. But that's not what I want to show you. The first event that uh, was very interesting that's going on, I was inspired by what happened in Italy and Spain, obviously, were the balcony parties, where people of Copenhagen have met online, obviously, to share at a specific time and a date, to share their own individual parties. People are also trapped in their houses with their kids, just like myself, actually. Um, here's another example from Twitter this time. This is from UK, if I'm not mistaken. This, uh, this is called home tasking, a hashtag that uh, this account, Alex Horn, has came up with. Uh, every day, the home tasking hashtag comes up with a specific challenge for families uh, to recreate, reproduce, and then share with others by using the hashtag. This is day three, and the challenge was to create a dancing elephant. As you can see, this is one family coming up with a solution. Here is another one. There are several types of memes. Not all of them are, let's say, politically correct, but here are some examples. You may have heard the Britney Spears case, where um, this tweet that she has sent, the one that ends with, we will feed each other, redistribute wealth, strike especially because she used the words redistribute wealth and strike. People have actually came up with several examples here. The museums, zoos, and all sorts of cultural places that are being under the lockdown right now. So we have seen a growing interest in virtual museums, virtual tours. Here's one from Smithsonian. And here's another one from the National Museum of Denmark. While this was happening, other places have found out different ways to bring people together. This is a bar, actually a virtual bar, a physical bar turned virtual. Mikeller, you might have heard about Mikeller. Here it's a very popular beer boutique and also restaurant chain. Since they have closed all shops now, they need to bring people together and they have used an app uh, to have a virtual bar that is open 24 seven. So just meet people whenever you're there and have a conversation maybe to score one other thing that happened was what was called the stay home festival the 25th of mars um, through several online platforms this festival allowed people to actually have the festival vibes at home some people created the tents in their houses and um, of course they shared Her var det hiphopmusikeren Vakas, kendt fra gruppen Outlandish, der gav et nummer. Dagen igennem har jeg otte kunstnere givet koncerter på det sociale medie Instagram. Den er gjort under budskabet Stay Home Festival. Uh, this is another event, Corona Concerts. You can see that uh, several musicians have given house concerts online, live, and several thousand people were watching them. While people are doing things at home, people who don't have homes also do things online. This is Who's For B, the magazine um, for homeless people to sell and make, make money out of, which you might have seen on the streets of Copenhagen with their uniforms, um, not asking for charity, but actually doing a job. The problem is there are no people on the street and these homeless people are of course vulnerable to the disease, so they, they use social media extensively to reach out and um, deliver their messages. There was a campaign to help them with hand sanitizers, for instance. Here's another interesting case. Um, the Who's For B Sellers visual diaries that they share from around the streets. It starts with their diary. It's hard to sell newspapers when there are no people on the street. There's the case of the Japanese students who had their graduation ceremony in Minecraft because the physical ceremony was cancelled. This was actually completely a student-oriented, sort of a student-based um, initiative 
as the teachers have said, the students decided to create this space for each to get uh, together and um, <clears throat> have this social experience in Minecraft. This very interesting case from Denmark is something I wanted to share with you, but unfortunately it doesn't exist anymore. This Facebook group called Denmark's Mercatech, or the the black number, sort of the unknown number of people's health conditions. This group was uh, created and spread very quickly in social networks. Uh, it was basically one poll that asked people whether they have been sick in the last two weeks, uh, they feel okay, whether they have actually been uh, a corona patient, if so, whether they have healed or are they still sick. So it was a poll with a few options, seven or eight options, I think, just to get a large amount of number and help the Ministry of Medicine and Health about the real number. And in a very small amount of time, almost 500,000 people have joined this, and almost 50,000 of them have actually answered the survey. The authorities, health authorities, have also uh, transferred the data, or you made use of the data and collaborated with uh, this group to create a larger platform and ask people about their more specific health situation, which also created questions about the privacy aspect of this. Because now that we are sharing our personal information with people on the internet, this is also a question to ask to each other. Are we ready for all this health information being available through digital means? Anita Trumberg, who's also been a previous guest lecturer in this class earlier, has warned people about being careful about their personal data. As Business Insider reports, 11 countries are now using people's smartphones to track the coronavirus pandemic. There are several countries working with more invasive methods. This was also on the news in Denmark. My phone, which is satellite tracked by the Taiwanese government to enforce quarantine, ran out of battery at 7.30 a.m. By 8.15, four different units called me. By 8.20, the police were knocking at my door. So, how much privacy or how much surveillance is necessary when it comes to public health is a whole new question that we have to deal with. Protests, environmental movements, climate activists, they are also being affected by the situation. This tweet by Greta Thunberg, school strike with 82, in crisis we change our behavior and adapt to new circumstances. Uh, by using several hashtags and specific messages to the audience to stay home but continue the moment, she actually gained quite a lot of traction from young people. Participation of young people to this cause has grown only larger. Here's an example from India. Here are some other examples from all around the world joining the digital climate strike and sharing their messages with the community. From Australia, for instance. All in all, we're going to talk more about these things and we're going to have to change and adapt to the situation.